to Wu Tungsten, first of all, for hooking us up with some new summer UV shirts, man. These are some of our favorites. They've got the hood keeping us cool even in the summertime heat. We're actually out here fishing at Private Waters location this morning from PWF, that is right, Private Water Fishing. It is 6.55 a.m. We just launched. We are on the John boat today. We might do a little John boat versus bass boat action as a couple friends of ours are joining us shortly, a couple special guests actually. And I think it's gonna be a fantastic day out on this 11 acre private lake. I'm pretty sure there's been 10 plus pounders caught here and I would not doubt that we get on a decent little thing today. T-rig by the trees. Got one. Yep. Devin's on with the Texas rig. First fish. First fish. Oh, it's a good one, Devin. That's actually that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Ooh, how's that drag? I think we're good, but oh. Just a little, just a little. Nice. Nice. Good fish. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Jeez, he's digging. He's not coming up. Dip that rod a little bit. That's all the line you need to, you don't need to, you don't need to bring them in anymore. Just work them this way. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, God. Wow. Oh, what a fight. fish. What a fish. A what a fight. Oh, Devin, that's like that's a, a that's a five pounder. plus that's a five to pounder. start the day. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh my man. gosh. Six pounds, one six pounds, ounce. A six pounder to start the day. Oh God, Jesus. <laughs> you know what, these grips are actually really nice to have because yep. you can use them as a hold. Y'all uh, know it's gonna be a good morning of fishing when the first fish you pull out is a six pounder. <laughs> That's absolutely crazy, y'all. Oh man, this guy is super short. Oh, I'm like speechless. I, I'm trying to think of what to even say and words to have and nothing's coming to mind, but wow. I'm uh, speechless and this is an awesome fish and we, it's and the first fish in the boat. Look who's pulling up too. <laughs> and they're gonna be jealous. <laughs> so we gotta get on some more freaking Mondo fish. Look at this. That's a giant. I'm, I can't even believe it. This is a beautiful, fish i woke up early for this <laughs> <laughs> yeah we woke up at 4 40 a.m to get out here man that's earlier than we've been getting up to do some fishing i will tell you that here comes justice and larry melton jr man i'm excited to introduce you guys uh to them is he he was like in the grass too right he wasn't even like off the tree what the heck oh it's a bass i thought it was a bluegill i thought that was a little bluegill I think at this one, you just throw them all back. Uh, but that is a good question. Second fish in the boat. Little dude, getting it. <laughs> Ooh, this looks sketchy. Quite deep enough, yeah. Um, I mean, it's all like gravel underneath the... Right, 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 right. Crank it all the way to your right. Keep going, keep going, keep going. So. The only concern is just getting it back through here without hitting this column. So maybe I can just, uh, maybe. Go ahead and go ahead and just pull her forwards. Go ahead and hit it to the left. Smooth sailing, baby. Too easy. Uh, he set the plugs in. This big old skater is looking oh, yeah. fat on this little 11 acre lake, yeah, man. It, really is, <laughs> <laughs> it is myself and Devin on the John boat. And guess what we're doing, y'all? We are facing off against Larry Melton Jr. and Red Day Outdoors on the skater, baby. So let's go ahead and have some fun on this 2v2 challenge, skater versus John boat. Uh, is this fair, man? I mean, y'all got electronics. You guys can practically see the fish. <laughs> By the way. I don't know, man. Y'all got, got the Guggen stuff, y'all are hammers, you got Devin on the boat. That is always I a think, plus. I think that makes it even, man. Whichever boat Dev is on is, is most likely going to be the, the winning boat most <laughs> of the time. So. Larry, how you feeling? Man, I'm just, I'm happy to be here today. You know, I just hope, hope everybody has a nice, fun day. Maybe we can do a little participation trophy at the end for the loser, you know. Oh, <laughs> participation trophy as you guys jump in the water. All right, let's get to it. I have a feeling that motor books it, that little trolling motor. We on max output out here. Curious about the uh, big stumps. Over there? Yeah. All right, y'all, it's a challenge now. We're going to come over here to these stumps and see what happens. Try and maybe hit a few of these with the uh, T 
T-rig, Guggen baits, drop her down right along each stump. You really just want to cast as close to the cover as you can and uh, just kind of let it fall right along the edge of these trees. So boom, just let it fall, slack line. You want it to look natural, dropping straight down, appendage is just ripping. And if a bass sees it, they can mm, fly down there, swoop it up. And uh, no guarantees, but man, does it look good over here. No guarantees for a bite. And it's actually looking like very thick grass. So I have no clue the depth. We got no electronics on the John boat again, but maybe we get a few casts over here and just see what's up. Let me flip a, let me get this guy right here by him. We beat the guys to the lake. Oh, Devin just had one. I just broke off. Dang. That was a fish. Yeah. Woo, Devin just got broke off. No yeah, if y'all want to come hit these stumps with us, it might be good. I don't know. I think I want a black and blue crawl. Or, well, I'm going to throw that trench hog, but I don't think they, I don't think they want the moving bite. It's just so calm. I should probably be throwing a weightless Sanko. Oh, got one. First one of the day. That's, this is going for weight. That's a crappie. That was a crappie. Dude, Dang. Crappie. That'd have been one for the frying pan right there. He came right off this tree. I bet you there's some monster bass right around here. Mag draft. How's he going to come off on treble hooks? What is going on, man? Oh, God dang. That was a bad bluegill. <laughs> it was a bluegill. It was like... Duh, 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 duh. Oh. No! I keep getting fooled by these little ones, dude. Yeah, the with the wave. Two, two fish. How many pounds? Two pounds? Two, two fish. Four. They gotta get out of here, man. Larry's gotta get back to Alabama. We gotta go catch some more bass for you guys, so we'll probably continue this video on the banks. Uh, maybe we'll link up with Justice later. Who knows what we're gonna have in store, but more fishing on today's video. We'll catch up with y'all here in just a second. We are working hard to keep today's video alive. <laughs> it's like so hot. Red Day's not able to join us for any more fishing and we already put the John boat up. Devin's off to work. Larry's on a flight back to Alabama. It is literally me, myself, and I until Glenn Bartlett hit me up, man. He's in town from the Bassmaster Classic weekend. He's actually out on Lake Ray Hubbard and he offered to let me join him on the boat. So I'm headed that way right now. I just stopped and grabbed us some Chipotle so we can have a couple burrito bowls before we hit the water. Sounds like he's already caught a couple fish and hopefully we can bring a couple more in the boat before he has to split. So we are fishing the midday. He wish us luck, man. You're going to see us on the water here in just a second. I've never met him before. It's going to be a blast. I will go ahead and catch y'all at the ramp here in just a moment. What's up? Oh, you're good. We'll see if we can make it happen. Probably won't be graceful. Woo, this is slippery. Hold tight. I'm going to jump right over here. Got her. Yeehaw. Well, nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you, man. Woo. Let's see if we can find a place for all the goodies real quick. I just got to set this uh camera down and I'm ready to rock dude this thing is nice what the heck you've been out here on these trees or you've been further a little bit of everything a little bit of everything cool yeah that's how it was for us this morning it was just so calm and they weren't having nothing oh this guy okay there we go at least it's halfway decent this will catch some are you uh excited to move here I imagine I mean if it oh, if it goes through that's yeah. probably something you're looking forward to yeah dope is this like a uh 2021 or a 2020 or a, or not even 2021 sweet did you have eyes on those they were over here weren't they oh just had a flash dang i don't know to be fair i don't think it was a large mouth i think i'm getting hit man I, I keep getting a little slack something's whipping at it what do we got there we go <sighs> Just a little bit more bite size. <laughs> That's funny. First fish in the boat on uh, Ray Hubbard for me, I think ever, honestly. Let me grab these pliers. This guy's hooked on the top and bottom lip. You love to see it. We just made a move, by the way. And this wasn't the intended stop, but we saw a little bit of bait. Well, we saw these guys bursting at the surface, so something was probably chasing them. Let me find these puppies. Oh, gosh. We got them with three hooks, y'all. Not my best work. And we're free. All right, little buddy. Get on out of here. That's that uh, deep diver from Carl's Bait and Tackle right there, y'all. I forget the name of this color. I'll pop it up on screen if I can find it. I do like it. It's gotten me uh, fish on multiple lakes I've ever fished for the first time when I'm just on the hunt for them. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to bend this hook back because it looks like it got screwed. Do, 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 do. There we go. Let's keep cranking, ladies and gents. Dude, we could probably catch 100 of these in 10 minutes. <laughs> I was getting hit every one of those times I had slack, too. I got three bites on that retrieve. You got live scope. I think you're doing good. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't think so. Oh, there you go. Here you go. There's a little something over here. You know, this like, uh, I, maybe it's the console. It almost feels smaller than nice. On the new rig. On the clearance rig. <laughs> oh, man. I think, oh, oh, there goes my square bills, Bill. How do y'all like this audio? You hear those cars right above us? <laughs> Whew, all right, man, y'all gonna have to deal with this audio for just a second. I'm gonna take a little Chipotle break and uh, the, the little white bass bite we got on, it came and went. <laughs> it went just as fast as it arrived, so. Woo, stuff our stomachs. Maybe we'll catch a couple more fish here, but then we're gonna be on the search for some more largies, so y'all stay tuned because we do anticipate getting another couple bites while we're out here on the water. I'm gonna have to run you guys through this little nitro too. Clint and the folks he's working with are giving this bad boy away. You guys are definitely going to want to see it. I think it's like a 19-footer. God, is it like an Ultrax on here? It looks like it's a fancy pants. It's got a fancy pants trolling motor. It's got a nice little 200 Pro XS on the back. She's looking fly, y'all. And she's wrapped, too. It's like camo and red. Uh, we'll show it off a little bit where you can actually hear us. Let me eat this thing real quick, and we're going to try and catch some fish. What are you up to? You switching? <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Is, that. is that one of those mag drafts that doesn't have a... It's the uh, free freestyle. You put you put an owner like a six lot. It's eight. Okay, I like eights better. As far as like you know, just how quickly they fall. Well, y'all, I think the dog days of summer are officially upon us. I just caught a little bass off this rip wrap. I don't know if y'all caught it or not. Hopefully the GoPro saved the clip, but it was acting very hot. It was very slow. It was like overheating. So I took the battery out. I unplugged the portable power bank. I'm going to turn it back on. Sometimes it says like recovering clip or whatever like yeah so it didn't say anything. I'm thinking that clip I'm thinking you guys might have just seen me catch that bass but if not we just made a move and we uh, were kind of side scanning the the rock over here. We found a little spot with uh, some fishes on it and we caught us a little quarter pounder on that same crankbait. We're just probably staying 30 feet off the bank casting towards it cranking down along that rock and I think we're sitting in Oh, it got a lot shallower. We were in like 14 feet. Now we're in like seven feet as we've crept closer and closer to the bank here. So the crankbaits are working. It's just the bites are few and far between as we have covered a lot of the rock here. So another fish in the boat. Let's go ahead and get back in the action. I, I love the mag drafts kick. That's the best thing about that. And the paddle tail just rocks. And uh, of course, it's just tough fishing that treble on the bottom of it everywhere you want to, right? So I need to absolutely grab some of those. Y'all, so Clint has opened my eyes to the uh, freestyle mag draft. Check that thing out. So this is a six inch? Yep. So we have a six inch, but it's like that shad pattern. And of course it's got that treble hook on the bottom of it. But this is a way to throw it kind of weedless up in and around the cover uh, when it's not as much open water, right? And you got that treble hook for maybe maybe a better hookup ratio. It's kind of arguable. You probably aren't gonna miss a lot on either one of them. But regardless, he's throwing it on an dot <laughs> owner beast hook, y'all. <laughs> That's kind of that weighted belly hook. And uh, uh, he, he recommends the dot for that size right there. So I'm gonna have to pick some of those up seeming as we only have the treble hook version. And with that being said, let's uh, crank some dots. Me, while you, oh, 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 you better grab that. He got it. He got it. Oh, Dude, you know what happens with the braid. Holy smokes. I'm just gonna try and get by those first calms. Man, Lake Austin, have you been down there and fished it? Uh -uh, so yet. much fun. You'll just be fishing these, but they're in, you know, 12, 14 feet. Really? It's clear, you'll be throwing big baits. You'd love it. You'd love it if you're talking about like that Arashi and stuff. Yeah. Just forget about it. That's coming. <laughs> And we're back in the kitchen after fishing Ray Hubbard for the first time. Gotta thank Clint for taking us out on the Black Rifle Coffee giveaway boat. I don't know if the giveaway is still going on or not because this video was filmed previously, but check a link in the description if I have one posted. You can probably still enter to win that Black Rifle Coffee Nitro fiberglass boat. I believe it had a 200 on the back, but what a crazy day. This video almost did not get made. A lot of hard work went into this one. We knew that Larry Melton was in town. Justice was also here. Fishing the Bassmaster Classic, not fishing the Bassmaster Classic, but it was over that weekend, and so that's why all of us kind of creators linked up. And so Devin and I went on private water fishing and booked that lake for us to fish for the entire day. And you know, usually it lights out at those properties, but some days the bite's just not on. And so we went out there that morning, and besides Devin's big fish before the guys even arrived, I think they maybe only caught one or two fish a piece, maybe like two fish total on the boat while we were there because we were going to do a top five challenge by weight and turn this video into like a 2v2 bass boat versus john boat type of challenge 
and we were hyped on it. But we knew Larry was on limited time, had to get to the, had to get back home, had to fly home. And so we're like, okay, let's go knock it out. I think we can catch some fish out here pretty quickly. Ended up not being the case. And so with that being said, Devin had to go to work. Justice was off doing his thing. Larry's got to not miss his flight. And so we put a feeler out on Instagram saying, hey, who wants to get out and do some fishing, right? And that's kind of what led to me getting out with Clint and on Ray Hubbard for the first time ever. He actually hit me up in a story reply. So if y'all aren't following on Instagram, uh, go ahead and check it out. You might be able to fish with us on a whim. It happens more often than you would imagine, I assume. And so we got out with Clint and had us a good old time. We caught a couple fish and it was a great experience. Thank you so much for taking us out, bro. And we'll see you guys on the next episode with that. That really encompasses the whole video. But yeah, barely put this one together. So thankfully it all came together in the end and we got another upload for you guys. Let me know what you'd like to see next. We got the bank, we got the yaks, we got the John boat, we got the bass boat. We try to cater to everyone's needs in the fishing industry. Also, we may do some bow fishing in the future. Again, we've only done one or two videos on that and maybe even incorporate some firearms into the channel. Let me know uh, your feelings on that. I mean, it's probably going to happen regardless. I'm just saying. I'm just giving you a heads up. So with that, we'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out.